Good morning and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to tackle some questions on the coordinate geometry internal and we shall look at how to calculate the equation of the line given four different scenarios. Okay, we look at example one. You are going to find the equation of the line joining two points A, which is minus two, one, and B at three, two. Remember, to find the equation of the line, the formula to remember is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. m is the gradient, y1 is the point, either could be a or b. x1 is the point on the x coordinate of the point a or b. So before we do that, we need to find m. If then m is not given, we have to find the gradient. The gradient formula is y2 minus y1 divide by x2 minus x1. So before you even put x1, x2, y1, y2, we have to label them. So for A, we have put x1 as minus 2 and y1 as 1. For B, 3 is x2 and 2 is y2. Once we have done that, we are going to calculate the gradient. So y2 is 2 minus y1, which is 1. x2 is 3 minus minus 2. Simplify them, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus negative 2, put in your calculator, or 3 plus 2 is going to be 5. So the gradient of the equation is negative, uh, is, uh, is 1 out of 5. So the once you got the gradient, you're going to substitute the gradient into this equation. Okay? The equation is y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. So the gradient is 1 fifth, you're going to substitute the m as 1 fifth. Why is y1 or x1? You can choose either one of the coordinate. So I have decided to use this coordinate because they are both positive, that's easier. So this will be your x1, y1, so y minus 2 equals to the gradient 1 fifth x minus x1, 3. Simplify them. This part we're going to expand. So 1 fifth multiplied by x minus 3, so 1 multiply them. 1 fifth times x is 1 fifth x. Minus 3 times 1 fifth is going to be minus 3 over 5. So that's how we get on this side, 1 fifth x minus 3 over 5. Once we have done that, the last step we're going to do, we are going to add 2 on the left, we're going to add 2 on the right. So this will cancel out. So y equal to 1 fifth x, 2 plus minus 1 minus 3 over 5 is going to 7 over 5. So the equation of the line is that and that will give you an achieve. Let's go, next one. Okay, next example. The second example is when a point is given, 4, negative 3, and the gradient is also given. Okay, so this is easier still. The equation is y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. This time, you do not need to calculate the gradient because the gradient is given. So 2 is put in there. So m is 2. x1 is 4. So we're going to replace x1 with 4 x minus 4 and y1 is negative 3 so y minus negative 3 simplify them y minus negative 3 is going to be y plus 3 expand it so the same thing this part 2 times x is 2x 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 so on this part when you expand it becomes 2x minus 8 and the last step you're going to minus 3 on both equation so minus 3 plus 3 cancel out so y equal to 2x minus 11 and again that is a simple achieve not too bad right yeah so now we proceed okay okay this is slightly different right what is the equation of the line that passes to 2 5 that is parallel so these two lines are parallel to each other so if you know they are parallel m1 equal to m2 the gradient of the red line is the same as the gradient of the blue line so from the Red line, the equation is y equal to 2 third x plus 1. So the gradient is 2 third. So if the gradient of the red line is 2 third, the gradient of the blue line is also 2 third. Once you know that, we are going to put numbers into the equation. So y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1. So instead of y1, we're going to replace it by 5. Instead of x1, we're going to replace it by 2. And the gradient is replaced by 2 third. Do the same thing, expand this part. So 2 third multiplied by x is going to be 2 third x 
2 third multiplied by negative 2 is minus 4 over 3. So we got that equation from here. My, uh, 2 third x minus 4 over 3. The last step, you're going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. Minus 5 plus 5 will cancel out. 5 minus 4 over 3, put in your calculator, it's going to be 11 over 3. And that could be an achieve or a merit depending on the year. Okay, the last but the hardest example, example 4, okay, is when the two lines are perpendicular to each other. Find the equation of the line, the blue line, that passes through 6, negative 1, and it's perpendicular to this line 2x minus 3. Perpendicular means it is 90 degrees. Each or uh, the two lines meet at 90 degrees. When it is perpendicular, okay, the two gradients have this property. M1, the two gradient will multiply to give negative 1. Or if you want to find the gradient of the blue line is minus 1 divided by the gradient of the red line. So in this case, the gradient of the red line is 2. So to find the gradient of this M1, M2 is going to be minus 1 over M1 is going to be minus 1 over 2. That's the gradient of the blue line. Once you know the gradient of the blue line, everything is easy. Substitute y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1. Gradient is now negative half. y1 is going to be minus 1 to so y minus negative 1. x1 is going to be 6. So it's going to be y minus negative 1 equal to minus half x minus 6. So the next thing we're going to do is going to expand this part. So you multiply minus half times x is minus half x. Minus half times negative 6 is going to be positive 3. That's how we get minus half x plus 3. Last step, because it's a plus 1, you're going to minus 1 across the whole equation. So 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. One, 3 plus minus 1 is going to be 2. That will be the equation. Again, this could be achieved or merit. So technically, these are the four steps in coordinate geometry that you can do to calculate the equation of line. Keep practicing it, and before long, you should be an expert, and you should be able to pass this internal with ease. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.